Good morning, folks. I hope you all had a good Earth Day yesterday. Sorry for the choppiness of this first clip here. When the news began talking about animal deaths first thing in the morning, I wanted to get a quick capture of it. Top news story of the day, if you ask me, scientists confirm non-human genesis of methane release from the Arctic. For those new here, methane probably caused the greatest extinction in Earth's history. That's a good research topic if you're looking for more. You can see the second sun diving comet of the weekend shooting up to a fiery demise here. If you've got a good eye, you can actually see her dissociate on Lasco C2. It's been 11 days since the last gamma ray burst, but we just got a new one a few hours ago. Details found on the Sonoma link below. We had another set of five magnitude quakes south of Australia. This time, the USGS reported them properly. In the west, an area of a few hundred square miles heard a loud boom Sunday morning mystery of the booms continues. We also had a 5.1 near the Caribbean and some increased moderate seismicity near the uh, subduction zone a bit south. Orange and the yellow here is the solar wind density and speed respectively. You can see the jump here at the end on ACE and is also visible on SOHO. That is another little coronal mass ejection impact. Remember we had a couple on the way. This one gave a good little shove pushing geomagnetism to unsettled territory with the KP at 4 here. The GOES magnetometers took a dive there at the end. The HARP induction resonance is evident on the right. The red above the blue here means solar plasma was getting through our outer defenses. You can see the smack happened pretty good. Charged particles from the CME bombarding the Aurora Electrojet here on the Ovation Prime. Having a look at the northern half of the sun, there are four or five plasma filaments that could rip off any time. A line of active regions that are crackling with some C-class flares. On the southwestern limb, that's the bottom right as we look at it, you can see an eruption ripping off. It's unlikely to hit Earth. The active regions down here are slightly more active. Primarily, we are focusing on this region here. If we have any more complexing of the morphology, this will be beta gamma. The space weather is stronger than expected and a little late, so we'll extend the quake watch slightly through the Moon-Venus conjunction tomorrow. That's the news, folks. Be safe.